All right, so a couple weeks ago, uh, I made a big announcement that, hey, I'm going to be moving the World of Wolf archive, and uh, I got a lot of flack for it, and uh, mate pissed a couple people off, and I'm sorry about that. I'm probably going to piss a couple people people off with this video, too, given what I intend to say, but um, for everybody that was all alarmed that, like, no, don't move it off a bit, shoot, y'all can relax for a little bit. For the time being, my search for an alternative to BitChute is at an end. Uh, I will not be moving it off a of BitChute. I will not be moving the World of Wolf archive off a of BitChute for the foreseeable future. Uh, I am still in the market for an alternative to BitChute, however. Um, basically, everything I said about my feelings about BitChute have not changed. Um, I don't like the neighborhood. I don't like the neighborhood. I don't like my or Wolf's content being anywhere near Alex Jones or Tim Pool or Lauren Southern, or any other people who, frankly, I feel are crazy alt-right, hate-mongering conspiracy theorists. I don't like it being there. And I wish I had a better alternative. Unfortunately, so far, as it was when I started with BitChute, BitChute is the best alternative. Because since BitChute doesn't take any content off, I can be guaranteed that basically nothing will leave there. And BitChute is still the best game in town. I just really wish the political climate of 2020 and the, the past couple years was not the reason for a place like BitChute existing. It's like, dude, couldn't we have gotten, like, all, like, fed up with, like, freaking YouTube and said, hey, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do a better, like, uh, video, video hosting platform just because, oh, I put, like, one clip of a copyrighted thing in it or one clip of a copyrighted song. Copyright strike, DMCA claim, and you get taken out. Where was that? Where was, where was the impetus to make something like BitChute? Back, like, when Channel Awesome, like, people got taken down every five fucking seconds. Like, oh, I made an AMV of this really cool anime. Like, oops, copyright strike, boom. All your hard work's gone. No one can see it now. Fuck you. That's, like, what happens. And that's the problem with Wolf's content. Wolf did a really good job editing. I, I am in awe of Wolf's editing ability. And, like, I'm nowhere near that level. It's like, but he, yeah, he used copyrighted material. He used, like... And he also has conflicting things. The, the thing that's actually kind of really kind of made me decide to stop looking for this is actually the Black Panther review. Which, for the record, I personally don't agree with at all his Black Panther review. Uh, I think he actually doesn't really understand the property of Black Panther. Nor does he really care. Uh, I, I, like, he, he never really seemed like he was that into Marvel to begin with. Um, but, uh, like, I, I really don't feel like he understands that movie. But it's his content, and it's a video that he has, and even though I don't, I don't agree with it 100%, it's like, it's interesting hearing his take on it. And as an archivist, it's my job to keep it uploaded. So, I mean, yeah, I, I was uploading it. And um, I, I, I saw that it was, like, getting taken off. My actual journey in trying to find an alternative platform was very interesting and very illuminating. Um, I tried a couple different things. I tried Vimeo, I tried Daily Motion. Daily Motion, I ran into the same problem with, like the, like, the biggest problem I kept running into over and over again was the Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom review. Because copyrighted images, um, a company that doesn't give a shit about fair use because he was using the publicly available trailer, and he had a negative opinion of a clearly shitty movie, so I kept running into the same problems. I found a couple other sites that were pretty interesting. I found DTube, which seems like a very ambitious and interesting decentralized take on video uploading. But, like, I got warned on this. It's like, yeah, but, like, their uploading process is, like, very, very frustrating. And sure enough, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom review, it wasn't that, like, I, like, it was, it was so weird. It, it wasn't that, like, I got hit with copyright strike. No, it was, like, I actually was, um, like, uploading in kind of a weird place. I was, like... I was, I was out and about running errands, or I was at work or something. Yeah, I was, I was running errands. That's what I was doing. And uh, I had, like, some time to kill, and I decided to use my hotspot for uh, an internet upload, which, of course, isn't the best idea. Um, and I tried uploading it there, and then I ran into some problems. Like, eventually I ran out of data, and I was like, all right. So I wound up getting, like, a crappy version of it on there, and you can't delete anything off of DTube. It, it's like a blessing and a curse. It's like you can't delete anything off of that website, but it's like... Okay, but what if I want to delete it? And it's like, and then every time I kept on trying to, like, fix it, it just wouldn't fix. And I'm like, fuck this. And, uh, like, for the longest time, I, I like, my best shot, I think, was going to be Metacafe. Um, uh, I, I really, I really appreciate, I really like Metacafe, and I wasn't having too much trouble with that. But, um, like, I think the big issue with Metacafe is actually... I don't know whether they take things off or, like, people flag things, but Metacafe is supposed to be for shorter content. The thing I kept running into trouble with Metacafe, ironically, was uh, a totally civil conversation. The the one where it's just basically Mahler and um, 
and Wolf talking, and Mahler's talking, is trying to convince Wolf, hey, dude, Captain America Civil War is a really great movie. And it's like, you know, and, uh, now that movie, that, that I t- totally agree with Mahler on, the Captain, Amer- Captain America Civil War kicks ass. I, I love that movie. I don't agree with them 100% on things like that. I think, like, Baron Zemo kind of sucked in that, but, like, whatever. Uh, good movie, good movie. Um, yeah, so it was, uh, like, that, like, I, I, I think, like, that kept getting, like, taken off. And I'm like, why? They don't use any copyrighted information. It's just two dudes talking about Captain America Civil War. They don't use clips. And I think really what it boils down to is that video is three, three hours long. So it gets taken off. So, um, yeah, I, like, at, for the foreseeable future, my best bet is BitChute. Because BitChute, because of... The reason for that site being existing is like, we want a place for, we're being censored. It's like, eh, yeah, okay. We're being censored online, so we want to put our material out there when it's like, I, I, yeah, it's, listen. All right, again, I'm going to piss a lot of y'all off. I'm sorry. Got to do it. The reason why a lot of alt writers are being taken offline is because they don't seem to understand what hate speech is. And like, and they and they blow everything out of proportion. I got censored. My content's being taken off. Yeah, because you're actually saying really awful shit. It two. It's two things. It's two things. It's one. A lot of times these people are genuinely saying really awful shit, or like threaten to kill somebody, or said we should kill all them Mexicans or kill all them Jews or something like that. Like Lauren Southern, a lot of her freaking like sources are legit like like anti semites. You know, like just just good old Nazi loving anti semites. It's like, yeah, they, they, and then they, then they, they make a big huff and like, we're being censored. I can't say what you want. Listen, we have freedom of speech in the United States within reason. You can't shape, shout like uh, fire in a crowded building and you can't say, Hey, I want to kill a bunch of people. You can't fucking do that. You're going to get hit. You're going to get hit and you're going to get taken out. You're lucky if you don't get investigated or something like that. Um, again, this stuff goes beyond just having an opinion it goes into just really, really ugly territory. And and even beyond that, even if you're just saying, I don't like this group, I don't like that group, even if you're tame in terms of this shit, okay, you're pissing people off. You're pissing people off. So guess what? People don't want to watch you anymore. YouTube. All my problems with YouTube. Let's remember what YouTube is. YouTube is not the United States government. It it is it it doesn't have the United States Constitution. It is a company. And companies don't have to fucking abide by anything. That's the problem with YouTube. That's the issue with YouTube. That's why cop. That's why YouTube doesn't have a. Sorry, sorry. Hit the hit the laptop. That's why YouTube doesn't have like. That's why YouTube has problems in terms of like taking material down in the first place. Is because they don't have a backbone. They're a company. They want to make money. They want to just yeah. Oh oh, someone's gonna sue us. Bye. So if you're a YouTuber and you don't have a video platform of which to upload, you know, I mean, you know, like, like that's the thing. None of us do. None of us just have our own... Wouldn't it be great if we all just had our own freaking servers? If it was like... I, I, I predict, I predict, like, 20, 30 years from now. 20, 30 years from now, technology gets better, and we have more ability to fair, fair, uh, share files and things like that. People are going to have their own private freaking servers with utter ease. People have their own video, their own video hosting websites. Immediately, once the, te- once the technology is more readily available... I, I guarantee you, like, and, and, and like, because that's technology is, is like exponential in terms of its of its increase. Uh, I've always said, I, I remember way back when we went City of Heroes. I'm getting on a tangent. I'm sorry. I remember way back when City of Heroes like got got taken down. It was. I remember thinking to myself, like, wouldn't this be great if this was like emulators and I could have my own City of Heroes and play it? But it's like it's the server costs, and there are apparently people that are hosting their own private little City of Heroes servers. But it's just like it's not available to the public. So it's like it's you know yeah you got to find one of those servers, get in good with somebody. Um, I predict one day it'll be a hell of a lot easier to maintain something like that or have some version of that. And as long as all the old files are there, we can play stuff like that again. And I think the same thing applies for video hosting. I think one day when it, when it becomes easier, that will, well, once the technology improves, that is something that may be a little bit more readily available. But in the meantime, no, we just use what everybody else has. Nobody, a lot of us don't have the technology or the ability to maintain some things like that. So... Yeah, just stuff gets taken down. And the thing, and the fact of the matter is, back to my original point, again, apologize for that tangent, is, again, YouTube's a company. They're a company. They don't have to abide by freedom of speech. They, all they have to abide by is their, their SOP, their standard uh, operating procedures. So, like, oh, YouTube century, me, YouTube century. One, if you're not saying, if you're saying something controversial, but you're not saying something necessarily shitty, I sympathize. And I don't think it's okay. 
But what do you expect? They don't, they're not beholden to that. They're not beholden. They can censor whoever they want. And two, if you're a shitberg, cry me a river. You're a shitberg who's like really like, like, like wants to like, if, if you're a racist piece of crap that, that it's, that's really, that, that's really out there saying horrible, horrendous stuff. Oh no. Oh no. You got deep platform. Cry me a river. Fuck you. That said, I feel like what I want and what the alt-right wants in terms of a video hosting uh, like platform should exist in some shape or form. And I guess BitChute is that what it is, is what it is. It's a place where they can have their the, the, the baby can have its bottle. They can put up all their shits as abhorrent as I find it. And we are strange bedfellows in this resort because I just want to keep up a guy's content who's really a centrist who like uses copyrighted information and BitChute is useful for that. So, I mean, I feel like there should be a place online, a video hosting website that's, that's, that's decentralized, that basically that doesn't force people to take videos down or whatnot. And like, for whatever reason, where you could upload whatever you want and it's there. And it could be an archive for a variety of things. I I think, and I think there's a there's there's the potential for a better system and a more convenient system. And unfortunately for me, Bitshoot is the best jet. Bitshoot is to me is a blessing and a curse. I'm glad Bitshoot exists. I just wish it were better. I wish it wasn't what it. I wish it wasn't formed the way it was. But for the time being, um, I need it. There's no other place for me to put Wolf's content for the time being. So. For all those you're flipping, like all of you are like, like no, like don't, hey, look, and, and even especially if you really disagree with a lot of the points I've made in this video or the other video, I look, I, I understand. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'm sorry, like I, I get it, I get it. We disagree. Um, you know, I mean, look on the bright side. I I can't put my words into action right now. I can't take the stuff off right now. I might need it for some content I have down the line because I know I'll be using clips that are copyrighted. I feel like I'm using them in a transformative way. But that's no guarantee I'm protected from a DMCA claim. Uh, and by the way, maybe we all can agree on one thing. Fuck the DMCA. What The DMCA doesn't fucking... I'm sorry. It, the DMCA is just freaking useless and it's a nightmare for content creators. It, it, it's just like, I don't feel like it isn't... Like, oh good. Oh good. Oh good. I was listening to... Um, again, I'm a big fan of Frederick Knudsen and I've been getting into Jabroni Mike. And he was talking about like... He had like one like picture of Mario for Jabroni Mike's like streams. And he got a TMCA claim. And it's like, it's seriously not worth it. It's like not worth it. It's like, yeah, I, there's no way I can get the uh, Wolf's Justice League video up or the Jurassic World stuff up because it gets hit. It gets hit. That robot, unless I do nothing but like upload and re-upload it all the damn time. And I don't have the time for that. So it's like, yeah. So fuck the DMCA. Seriously. Um, but uh, yeah. So just a little update. Um, the The... Here, here's my like like so yeah like the 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 werewolf archive will stay up on the bit on bitchute for the time being I am still in the market for a different video hosting website where I feel comfortable if I could have bitchute without the neighborhood if I could have like a place where anything gets uploaded but it's not specifically for conservative content I would feel better I'd be actually fine if even conservative content was on there um but it was just like like we're it, I would like it if, like, the founder of this of this fictional video hosting website that I think should exist is like you can put up videos of any type you want, no matter no, no matter what it is, and it'll be fine. And we don't give a shit. We just want to. This can be your home to put whatever up, like whatever up, and um, and 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 like a, a, a true neutral, a true neutral alternative would be wonderful. And again, part of my concern with Bitchute is I don't think Bitchute's going to be up in a couple of years. I remember what happened to Blip. Blip went down for different reasons, but I got a feeling BitChute's not going to be around for a long time because, again, the same attitude is the reason why these people are getting deplatformed off of YouTube in the first place. That's going to follow them eventually because it, what it boils down to is, is like, the, the, the mind of the world is changing. And it's, yeah, it, like, people are seeing a lot of this content for what it is, racist, disinformation, and hateful. And it's just, it's not going to go to a good place. They're safe for now. Who's to say, like, especially, especially, like, hypothetically, and I probably shouldn't be saying this because then it'll happen. Um, say you get somebody, say a terrorist decides to upload some freaking hateful bullcrap to Bitchute, talking about, like, what he wants to do with a bunch of people, and then he commits a violent act. Bitchute's gonna go down. It's gonna go down, because, like, the FBI will, like, hone in on that. 
they'll be they'll 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 hit it like the whole and they'll yeah it could get deemed it could get deemed as like as like a hate site you know all sorts of bad things can happen from that so it's like that's the thing it's just like i i feel like i can't afford to move just yet but the writing's on the wall for the time being bit shoot for the time being is a useful tool for me it's like I, and again i i think bit shoot is kind of wonderful for what it is i just don't like where it comes from and i don't like uh the neighborhood but it's the best alternative i have for right now so again in closing too long don't read um uh again i'm sorry for whoever who i have offended in the first video or this video about my opinions but they are my opinions and i gotta be real with y'all uh but y'all don't have to worry the word of wolf archive is not going anywhere off of bit shoot for the time being so keep you know keep watching the videos there if it's not on if it's not on youtube it's on bit shoot um and um actually one more thing in terms of wolf um while this is going on uh i, I looked around and a lot of y'all have listened to me and you're uploading your own versions so we've got there are other werewolf archives are out there there's a lot of other people out there that are uploading wolf's wolf's content so it's like we've spread it around we've been spreading the tapes so his material is out there and can be viewed um in different places on youtube in fact one other guy actually uploaded the video i was having the hardest time with on meta cafe the um a totally civil conversation like for some reason i couldn't find it on my own channel i should probably check to see if it's, it should still be there but um okay uh and 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 uh yeah i'm a dumbass i didn't i didn't check to see if my version of it is still up on youtube um but um there's another guy who has like that video uploaded and he just like but he's got like a different screen i think it's just the audio and it was like oh okay cool he didn't have any problems with this um i but yeah um anyway uh I, i'm happy to note that i'm not the only game in town there are other are other archivists out there who are basically keeping werewolves content up so there we go so anyway uh i'm rambling now uh but that's just just a little update little update uh my search has stopped for the time being uh but if i find something better than bit shoot i'm gonna start uploading stuff to that too it's a bit of a process basically i've, I've got to basically just you know take the time and upload everything and you know i figured like i i, I went through like 10 like 10 different freaking like uh platforms and i'm just like after a while i'm like okay i'm i keep running into problems it's i don't know man it's like it's like bit shoots like like some crazy girl that like i need to get out of my life who's like just totally bad for me but the sex is amazing she's like fucking crazy and burning my shit and like breaking my cds but like she fucks my brains out like better than anybody else it's like it this is it's just it's just this bad relationship that i just can't get away from man i can't but anyway uh i've been rambling for a long time so this is the dread pirate signing out catch y'all later with some uh, rp videos talk to you later